As I said uh, at the beginning, uh, the essential processes for education, for the process of education, making students learn more and more, is communication and planning. Because if you plan things good, if you communicate enough, uh, that may help you to really learn, not just visit school. And uh, how to support this with IT uh, will be described in our next presentation, which is given by Artem Gladishko from uh, Unicorn, uh, which I am welcoming and inviting for the floor. Can you hear me well, Artem? Hello, good morning. Yes, okay, I can hear you. That's great. So the floor is yours. Please continue. Yes, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, my name is Artem Hladishko and I'm selling a uh, learning, man learning management system in Ukraine. It's called EduKit. Some of us maybe already saw the presentation. Uh, EduKit is uh, LMS and it's technically a digital twin for uh, administrative part of uh, education, uh, I mean in schools. Uh, it's uh, focused for teachers' responsibilities and school management. And uh, sc a digital school driving license is a short education program for teachers. It brings expertise, know-how and best practices to the school. Uh, a few days ago, I had this short discussion with my daughter and I asked her, so how is it going in the school? And she said, Dad, it's hard. So I asked, what exactly is hard? Are you, do you like uh, to get in some new information and knowledge? And she said, yes, I do. I asked, uh, so maybe the process is hard? And uh, she said, yes, the process is hard. And I said, sad, but true. No, I did not. It's just a song. I said, you know what? Teachers also uh, don't want to, to learn something new and not ready for changes. So that's why we create a digital school, school driving license, short program for teachers. Yeah, getting new knowledge is dangerous and uh, would be easy if there would be not a problem. So the problem is that we want to know, but we don't want to study. How could it happen? Is it not in our nature? And it's because it's complicated and study is complicated for both, for kids and for adults. So I will take you uh, through my presentation in the way. Let's take a look what happened in the past, what we have in the okay. present. And uh, so, Sorry to interrupt, yes. Artem. Uh, uh, yes, you are st you're still sharing the first screen if you can uh -huh. uh, if you can reshare because uh, oh. we still see the first. Okay, that's great. Sorry for working. interrupting. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you for 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 letting me know that. Yeah. So. Okay. There was the beginning. It was here, and now we can go. Yeah. So I will I will take you with me through the presentation, and I would like to ask to look back in the past what happened there, uh, what we have in the present, and uh, what we see. Uh, potential future of education. So now we're here, yeah, and a uh, short look at what happened previously and seems to be important. Uh, in the past, if somebody wanted to become educated, he had to put a really huge effort. Literacy became popular less than 200 years ago only. So uh, we can consider that educated people who was uh, only and who really want and they have to be able to get this education. Also, if you want to run innovative projects, we have to go to some university levels, uh, find professors because knowledge is know-how, uh, research and development, best practice, it belongs to the professors. A bit later, a human being decided that everyone should be educated and it became mandatory. As a society, we start seeing that everyone can write and read, and we start rely on it. Sent to the past decisions, we are in better conditions now. Technically, what I mean is that uh, our, our present uh, gives us opportunity to differentiate even what is comfortable and uncomfortable. Uh, to understand more what I mean regarding differ between past and now, for example, my grandmother 96 today and she has only four classes. I'm 31 and I have two master's degrees. So it's only 96 years, but something really important happened there. Now let's 
take a look more about present and I think it's our turn. We are doing what we are doing and how we will will react in the future. And for us, it's really great responsibility. Now we are decision makers. So there are enough schools around us, but is it really enough? I mean, everything what is needed. Currently teachers struggling with the paperwork, drawing in administrative tasks. This is the this is situation what is uh, what we have now. And to me it seems a risk that we can lose something important, so I would like to avoid it. We are ready to help change this. We want to our teachers start teach again, means become focused on the learners, help them to gain up-to-date knowledges, and we want them become able to develop really important skills. This is exactly why we have created a digital twins. There are plenty of them, like employer system for employers, for customer relationship, and also learning management system. But problems remain. Teachers are not ready to try it. They don't know how to start, and they a bit scared about it. Yes, so they are not digitally educated, uh, and uh, we want uh, we want to help them with this. If we are who we are, thanks to our teachers, so we need to prove our gratitude. Yeah, and in the present, uh, we didn't forget what teachers has done to us. Uh, we are grateful for their, uh, if you are listening to me and you are a teacher, for your effort. We appreciate for past decisions and we are talking seriously, taking seriously our responsibility. So we will help with digitalization and we will deploy the digital twins and share experience, know-how and best practices by unique program as digital school driving license. And now it's the Tima about future, what we can see there. The future of education, I believe, is a deep integration between education results and business opportunities. Business will want to know as much as possible about potential candidates. Business will want to verify their professional results, even they just ended the university. Business will also ask schools and universities not only for the specific amount of people, but also about their profiles and uh, want to know as much as possible about these people. And the reason or the goal that risk of wrong people in wrong places will be decreased. The future of education is focus on subject quality, on the quality of the methodology. Reporting calculations, administrations are delegated to the digital twins. Automated activities, clear processes, less and less mistakes. That's the goal. Security and data protection also easier to achieve digitally. That's why Unicorn is a company investing not only in the product and tools development, but also in education program like, like digital driving license. So what is inside? And inside is digital experience, know-how, and best practices. Yes, so let's take a look about a few examples for each of part. So digital communication, digital process management, digital planning, and digital opportunities. Yeah, I would like to share one example. Uh, let's imagine that uh, currently communication between between school and teacher uh, and parents uh, done by a messenger. And if teacher is share the important uh, information in message and then 30 mothers or fathers react on it and uh, some time spent if you want to find this important information or to clarify the details, it will be hard. And if you will multiply the problem to, to, to search and to find uh, several uh, information, because we have several threads, we have uh, plenty of people react on it, and it's not organized. 
But this is the reality. We are using very common tools and uh, technically we are struggling, but we are thinking that there are no solutions. So here is just small example, small table showing if we set in the blue, there are several cases uh, which might require sharing of the information and uh, how it's potentially efficient with different tools like email, messenger or LMS. For example, if you want or we need confirmation of reading, of uh, reading, uh, we will not get it through the email. In some messengers, we might see that it was read, but not in all. And of course, in learning management system, it will be. And the same is basically with all other information, data prote protection. Interesting case that if you are using messengers to communicate with the, with, uh, with the students, some of them, uh, most of them, 18 plus, only a few of them, it's allowed from 12, but we have kids even younger. Yes, so there are each subject, there is each, there is each subject require proper handling. And uh, for, for, for this goal or for this reason, we need proper system. That's why learning management system as a class exists. That's why uh, we believe that by using specific and uh, respective system in respective place like school, it will be much more efficient. And we can achieve this goal, which we can see that a uh, teacher can help us as a parents develop specific skills, which every kid need to. Next is about educational process. So uh, also a small example, test and evaluations. We realize that good behavior is something expected. And if you want teacher for 30 kids, you even don't take care about it because uh, you have what to do. But if in case of bad behavior of the kid or kids, they are evaluated and uh, they are evaluated in the beginning with just with the mark. And uh, the problem we can see, which uh, currently exists, is how we can cheer up the great results. We are mostly in 90% react only on the bad behavior and we are taking as it is good behavior. So technically, uh, if we will talk in this way, evaluation is only mark, no words, no comments. And if you will use respective system, you will get the wider options for evaluations. You can cheer up the great results. And also we are not limited only by marks. Planning, yeah, let's uh, take a look on the, um, it's a real story or real case uh, as an example to understanding why, why it's important to have everything in one system. Parent called to, to the, the parent of the student called and say to the teacher that uh, kid will go home uh, alone and uh, let's put us on the place of teacher. So we receive this, uh, this message. Is it uh, enough just to have uh, said words? And the responsibility of the kid is uh, after such a call on which place, uh, I mean, on whom? On teacher or on parent or on the kid? And uh, in case of something, uh, who, will, who will be responsible? And uh, it, there is no options to get some paper because it's accidentally happened. So we think that it would be great to be informed in advance in such a case or be prepared for such a case and have some tool which allows you everywhere 20 hours, seven days a week to set some mark to the respective teacher or class that uh, there is some changes in regular processes. It will be also cool to see it uh, as a parent mentioned, uh, said. So yeah, it will be easy to agree on any rule with stakeholders if a planning tool inside of the system exists. And it will definitely help with plenty of problems or cases like this one. But without it, it's very hard to handle papers for only each exception of the rules. So the future of education will be deep integration between who we need and who we build.
That's all from my side. So I believe it's time to question for questions. Okay, thank you for a great presentation uh, about all the problems with uh, uh, with education and about uh, how to solve them efficiently with uh, with the system. Uh, so I have a couple of questions we, we can talk about. Yeah, sure. So if we can continue, uh, there is a particular question which m might be uh, slightly tricky, and y you actually comment on that already a little. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you have some sort of the learning management system, right? and uh, collecting all the communication tests uh, and whatever activities in the school. Uh, is there a, a component w which is evaluating uh, uh, how the students evolve, what are their uh, efficiency in learning? So something which is usually called learning analytics? Or are you planning mm -hmm. to, to do this? Well, there are, there are some, some things because it's like... Uh, I would say not very specific questions, but in general, uh, and be with me in my words, uh, regarding evaluations. Um, the main idea that currently parents is really, really interested in what the kids they have. I mean, who are these people like? Yeah, and some, some kids requires uh, uh, one approach and uh, methodology because they like to learn or study or to read and other is they are sportsmen in, and, and something inside of them is uh, an obstacle for them to learn something. So definitely evaluation is really important and it's uh, very also very important information to the parents. So what system yeah. gives you, first of all, is uh, it's regular process like tasks and evaluation and marks of this task, like for example, homework. Yeah, so you can see the marks. You can see the comment also about it. And uh, the very important thing uh, in uh, in LMS in learning management systems that it's only between you, your parent, and your kid, and nobody knows your results. Yeah, so it's it's shown only in the system. Uh, second, you can also cheer up. So there is a window uh, where you can see, uh, for example. Uh, cheer up signs like good behavior or a very attentive or a great results and there are plenty of it there are also bad behaviors but it's showing not like you know in in strong way it's it's just a sign in the system so uh, it gives opportunity just to discuss what happened and uh, it, to avoid conflict between teachers and parents between parent and kid and so on yeah. Uh, so, too many words from my side. Uh, please uh, direct yeah. me to the. I, I mean, and uh, are these processes like? A, of course, you can check it in the system, but are there any efforts to make it automatically? In sense of, okay, uh, I don't know your pupil, your student is somehow far from being an uh, average student in a school in the either bad way or a good way. So he is either or he or she is either excellent or. Uh, or I mean, an in threat to 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 have mm -hmm. problems. Uh, well, it's it, like the direct answer is no because it's not yeah. automatically. Yeah, it's uh, still mm, between people like kid and and. Teacher yeah, I mean, and so on, so. yeah, I can expect that it is very complicated and it might be very specific for every school because to find an average is uh, is uh, is not easy, right? So so that's yeah, maybe. What you can do. Uh, yeah, for example, if you need to check the knowledge and you can set up the test and uh, yeah. the results of the test will be, of course, uh, evaluated automatically because it's in percentage or something like this. But if okay. you will talk about soft skills or behavior, it's a bit tricky and complicated. So at this moment, you can cheer up or set some. Okay, behavior, that's great. Uh, yeah. And so on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one of the other uh, part that uh, interests me was the, f uh, the the way when you say that evaluation is not only about marks, but there can be like mm -hmm. other comments and stuff. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you can always provide a feedback to students like you have these problems or you made these mistakes, right? Uh, am I right? Yeah, it's like evaluation in business, you know, so you, you yeah, are yeah. not just evaluated by results, but you evaluate in, in soft skills, in hard skills, on attitude and so on. Uh, when my, I have daughter and, you know, uh, when I'm asking school about her, yeah, so I'm receiving very poor information. Sometimes uh, they can't even say because if you have 30 kids and each parent will ask you to evaluate his kid, 
well, at least it requires some time and mental effort. But uh, if you have system and opportunity in the system to say, uh, to set, yeah, just by clicking on the icons, which means something, uh, it's much more easier and it might be uh, done much more often. Of course, uh, in the system, there are internal communication streams uh, like messengers or emails inside uh, security uh, security and uh, related only to specific schools. You can even write an email like uh, with, with this context in case of huge problem or in case of huge results. For example, your my daughter is uh, super great and uh, there is new opportunity to, to, to participate in some challenges. Um, okay. And so on. Okay, that that's great. I, w I will be discussing this topic <laughs> quite long because uh, sure, it sure, interests sure. me. But unfortunately, yeah. we do not have a, a long time. We have some limited time. So thank you very much for your presentation, and uh, see you probably next time. So yeah, thank uh, you for asking me and joining me. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Okay, thank you.